I'm sitting in my room by myself right now, and I figured what better way to fill the time rather than masturbation or beating my head against the wall than to post a YouTube video. And I know that you really didn't want to know what it is that I do on my personal time, but hey, that's what this is all about, isn't it? Sharing, giving of myself to the YouTube viewing audience. That's what I'm all about. Um, I'm in sort of a wacky state of mind right now, and I felt it would be a good time to actually record, considering that it would give me something to do and maybe help me work through some of the stuff that's going on inside my head. I can talk to myself until I'm blue in the face, but at least I can focus this attention at you, the poor innocent victims that actually decided to click on this video, uh, rather than the uh, stuffed animals and the pile of clothing sitting to my right. Um, things have been kind of wacky in my life the last month or so. Uh, for those of you that have actually inquired, that didn't catch one of my earlier videos, uh, yes, I am working again. I've held a job for, I've had a job for the last seven months. I'm working as an IT representative for a company in the Silicon Valley. I'm also, um, as you can tell by my surroundings, living in a room. So um, some of the problems I had before I left YouTube uh, about half a year ago uh, have been resolved. I have a job and I have a place to live. And the third problem being the relationship situation is not been resolved, but I have things going on in my life right now that sort of help me distract myself from that. And that's currently where my mind is at the moment. Um, I've been given an opportunity to uh, distract myself. And the way that my mind works is that apparently uh, I'm not allowed to simply just appreciate the circumstances of my life. I have to, in some way, shape, or form, uh, have expectation or uh, predetermined uh, circumstances that are supposed to occur that cause that particular thing, or things, I should say, uh, to be not as good as they could be. Uh, in no way, shape, or form is this a reflection of the circumstance itself, but rather the damaged individual that I am. I'm sitting here in my bedroom uh, at about 11.30 at night recording this video because I felt it was important that my uh, process of thought is shown to be earnest rather than contrived. And what I mean by that is that what I'm saying here to you now is not something that I thought of or I wanted to say so that somebody could hear me being a good guy, but rather it's honest, it's honest thought process and that's what I'm sharing. So uh, when you're in a situation where uh, you're, you're afforded an opportunity and it's over time, let's say, it's uh, made clear what certain boundaries of that particular circumstance are. Um, you know, it took whatever process you happen to use to uh, achieve that understanding, but that understanding was pretty much uh, established. Now, with that understanding in mind, you should then be able, therefore, be able to uh, continue to function normally because you have the parameters and boundaries of your, of your circumstance clearly defined, and you know where you fit into that, you know where the circumstance itself uh, fits into that, and there should be no confusion. And I'm not really confused so much as that my uh, mental capacity for I don't know, worrying or reading into things or just being me um, doesn't afford me that, that sense of, of um, comfort and understanding. I'm working myself up into this weird mental state because of the way that I'm reading things. Now, whether or not those things tend to be the, the legitimate way that they are or if it's just a matter of me being a psychopath um, is not the point. The point is that I'm dealing with the repercussions of that mental state. And that's where I'm at right now. I know that's kind of vague, and I don't really want to get into too, specific, too much specifics because, quite frankly, folks, when it comes to stuff like this, I don't talk about it publicly. That's one of the main reasons why I'm being vague. I'm just simply saying that I have a circumstance that's, been, uh, that's occurred in my life in the last month or two that I'm grateful for. But uh, due to circumstances that have happened in the last week or so, um, I'm either reading into or reading things, and this is part of the reason why I wanted to post this video or I wanted to record this video is because um, no one should ever be put into a situation where they question themselves. Um, I'm, I, I've never been the kind of person that has spent their life or had circumstances in their life um, where they question their thought process. But because of it, 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 it incites sort of an emotional reaction or emotive reaction, um, because of the fact that I'm not exactly what you would call the most well-rounded emotional person. Um, I'm left to wonder if what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing is legitimate or simply just um, malformed experience. 
something that isn't real, but because that's how I've always understood it to be, that has to be the way it is. Experience is not always the best marker for, uh, you know, life experience is not always the best marker for healthy um, understanding. And that's sort of what I'm dealing with. So uh, that's pretty much where my head is right now, folks. And like I said, I understand that it's a really vague statement that I've made this entire video. But um, it is true. All of the stuff that I said is, it may be vague, but it's all legitimate. It's all direct. Um, and if you do kind of understand what I'm talking about, then cool. I'm glad that you were able to relate. And if not, then please, I apologize for not being more clear. Um, but as I said, I'm just making this video because I want to sort of talk um, in, in a manner as if I was addressing another person to help me get my thoughts in order, um, thoughts in line. I feel that um, the circumstances surrounding the situation that I'm currently involved in are a bit confusing. I feel that um, they can be read a specific way and that the events occurring in the circumstance can be seen a very specific way. Now that's where the problem lies is because um, in that um, the circumstances may not very, may very well not be that at all. But because of the way that my brain functions or the way that I perceive things, I'm creating this element of negativity. I'm creating this, um, this circumstance of, of um, I don't know what you, how you would call it, uh, the, the circumstance of, of pessimism, I guess, um, and basically giving intent to things that have nothing to do with what's going on. Since I, as an example, to make this a little bit more clearly, clear for you, and put it more clearly, um, it would be as if you were to do something normal. And I would then, in turn, put intent into that thing, no matter what it was. I'm not you. I'm not the person. I'm not you, the person that's making that decision. I'm not inside your head. But here I am, because of the way that my brain is functioning, I'm saying, "Oh, well, you did that because of this, or you did that because of that," and therefore it in turn affects me this way because you did that intentionally. And you can see that I'm applying intent into your action without knowing what your actual intent is. And that's a dangerous thing to do, at least in in terms of something that involves an emotive response or emotive reaction. So that's where I'm at, and yeah, this was a long babbling video, and it's not really witty or interesting for a lot of you folks, and that's okay, because as I've said before, I never really post videos on YouTube for that purpose, but um, it'll give you guys and gals an idea where my head is. So if you are watching this, then you know where I, what's going on in the old wooden noggin here, and if you don't, then I guess you'll never know. Um, I'm going to try and post more videos consistently. Uh, the only problem is I don't feel comfortable posting videos that I don't uh, have a full connection to the content. Doing something half-assed for me is just not acceptable when it comes to this. That's the reason why, like I said, that it takes a month per video because up until that, you know, the stuff that happens in between, I just don't find value in and therefore I don't want to post. So anyway, folks, this has been about almost nine minutes, so I'll stop here. I appreciate anybody that watched the video, and if you don't, that's cool too. Um, so hopefully next time I'll have something that's worthwhile and a little bit more engaging for you to watch and maybe even possibly uh, get you involved in the idea. And for those of you that are wondering about that um, idea that I had for uh, doing a collaboration video, perhaps that's the next video that I'll post that will explain that because I'm not getting anywhere with the stuff that I'm doing and the idea I have might be a little far-fetched, but it's something I'd like to see happen. So uh, until next time, I hope you all are doing well and I will talk to you soon.